We are standing inside our new anechoic chamber facility. Uh, this is a, a state-of-the-art sound facility designed to do two things. Uh, one is to absorb sound that's made inside the room. So we use this to make acoustical measurements. The other thing it's designed to do is uh, basically get rid of all sounds outside. But the reason we're interested in that is because once we know about how the acoustics behave uh, around the human head and ears, uh, we can use that information to make very accurate, high-quality simulations uh, related to um, how people hear sounds. Uh, and we can use that information to study things like uh, how humans tell where a sound is located, how far away a sound is located. We put microphones uh, into the ears. They sit right at the entrance of the ear canal. And then we play sounds out a loudspeaker uh, at various locations all around the listener. Uh, and then we record what the signal is that gets to the left and the right ear. Okay, And then once we know that, we can use that information later in the laboratory to simulate uh, listening over headphones uh, what the sound was uh, in this situation when it, it came from a particular location in space. We can use that information to make simulations. Um, we can put on a pair of headphones, put a pair of headphones on a person, have them listen to sounds, and it will sound exactly like uh, a sound is coming from a particular direction in space. One of the applications of is this facility is um, uh, to better help folks with hearing impairment. And the way, one of the ways that we can do that is uh, this facility helps us understand the acoustics uh, that the brain and uh, ears use to decode space. If we can accurately simulate space, auditory space over headphones, uh, that's an extraordinarily powerful tool. And uh, we can use that in a lot of different applications, one of which uh, that our funding agency is interested in, uh, which is the United States Air Force, uh, they're interested in cockpit applications where pilots need to be able to listen to sounds, uh, communication sounds, targeting sounds, and so forth. And if we can put spatial information into those sounds, it, it reduces the workload on the pilot. So if he knows that he's supposed to communicate with someone that is located at a particular spot in space, it helps him better understand that person.